and welcome to Kika Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to create some swamp look. First, I created a simple terrain, and we can shrink it down so it will be about maybe 10 meters. And next, we'll go to edit, and actually right here, I'm just going to draw over. So for this, I'm just going to reset. We'll just select the raise tool. Okay, and you can start drawing. If camera located from here, so I'll probably create one something around here area. Second, maybe going around this something right here. This is very rough kind of preset. Next, I am like to enable clipping area, bring it down. Maybe about this high, enable clipping restrict. And this time we can actually increase size and flow. So you can see when we start creating, it's kind of set to those clipping areas, which is okay. It's what we're supposed to do. Okay, so let's create one around right here. So this will be one. create another and you can create as how you feel it you think this is air should go so we can and this is will be island and other ones will be more kind of like water around them or swamp right now I don't worry too much that they are flat we'll let it work on this Okay, also let's reduce and maybe put something like right here in the middle here. Okay. Okay. Okay, next we'll take clipping zone mode away. We'll go inside effects and diffuse. It will be a little bit softer. Okay, let's go now back to our brush. And we'll add a little bit more of those bumps okay, right here on terrain. So we have it our minimum height, but also we add this kind of effect okay, right here. Okay, let's go to effects and diffuse more. I'm diffusing so this edge will be smaller for the grass. So this is look kind of nice. It's what I want to do. So we'll set, we'll take main camera and move slightly above. Okay, so right here you can see we have it kind of done. Um, next, let's add some on the back for the same. I'm just creating a simple normal terrain. Okay, we'll go to shrink it. Okay, let's bring closer. Bring it down and probably just add it with the Something around like this. Okay, we can see after if we want to modify, but this is almost like placeholder something on a back ground. You can see it. Okay, can bring a bit closer. Okay, and next on this terrain, we can work on the um, material distribution. And again, we'll have it one material, probably layer and ecosystem over this. So let's do. Um, open first okay and I'm just going to select dry grass this okay and while we work on this one let's modify color make a little bit more swampish kind of darker swampish color okay this may be a little bit too saturated to the green 
try go more yellow okay and let's apply it to this terrain as well so copy material and we're pasting to our terrain and same things let's paste on the ground just in case we have it somewhere far away so it will cover or maybe in some areas this is kind of material overlay for now uh, next I'm going to add grass so we'll go to X system and we'll add from the grass we'll select dry weed let's click OK most likely I will change afterwards something but for now we'll just leave it okay, we'll go click populate okay, you can notice it's populated all over places so we want to reduce scaling on this okay, let's pop up density and we'll go on presence right here and kind of start to working so the first things we want to remove from the bottom okay we're kind of covering um, next let's do this shrink at lower densities pop up a little bit more and right here in the presence on the bottom let's increase on a scaling we'll go preview so you can see we have an interesting nice um, grass going right around this area okay I think we can at this moment add layer of water for the swamp and let's see if we can bring high enough okay, maybe a little bit more so I can preview okay one thing right this area doesn't look um, too open for me so I'm going to re-edit we'll go to like invert all right around here Okay, so we'll have a little bit more water opening. Okay, and let's preview this actually in a separate window. So I'll click OK. Okay, so we have it very nice kind of looking water. Let's um, bring my bit better on this water so till we're working on this. We're going to the C open. We'll go in a form, and actually, what we do in a form, we'll go to change this to Okay, the swampy look. So let's select dry grass, right click, and we're going to kind of form. Just add to permanent noise and all the way down. So let's create this kind of noisy look. This is will be for our form. And we're also now going in water transparency. Let's set this down so it's more bluish kind of looking. Okay, highlights make it do more new kind of swampier little bit reddish highlight okay we'll go also in a bumps and let's set bumps to 0 0.1 almost no bumps kind of right here okay and if we put it on look right now you can see we have it with this form change it's more look kind of like green swamp very interesting effect give it to us like swampy look okay on a background right here actually I want to rework a little bit better so we'll take terrain and bring a little bit down more as well I actually want a little bit rework on this we're going to take enable clipping area bring down we run right here this all enable, make a bigger size, Hello. and just kind of similar way we will do it kind of a bit more faster. Just add a little bit.
I think this will look very nice. So we'll go ahead, um, clipping, turn it off, click OK. So you can see we have it nice on the foreground. And I don't want to fill up with the grasses because we'll put it some fog and other things, but we want to put a trees there. And to do this, we'll enable ecosystem for this material. We'll go to add plants. And one thing with trees, you notice we have it very interesting trees. But what I want to do, I want to actually create them more twisted, kind of more unique swampy. So let's create one tree at this time and we'll save as a species. Before doing this, let's go ahead and save our work. Okay, after you save your work, we can go and select the tree, for example, this winter tree. Click OK. Can okay, take a second. Okay, when it's done, I'm going to actually right click and edit object. So in my in now in a plant editor, we can reduce diameter, make it a little bit shorter, and increase no, so we have it more twisted almost the tree kind of effect. Okay, and just maybe a little bit on a drop. So we have this kind of effect a little bit more twisting. This is look good. Let's go ahead and save this species. I'm just going right here in the plants and then a custom. I'm just going just call swamp tree. Okay, now when we start using, actually it will be a little bit better because we can take this tree, delete it, it's going to already open, go in our ecosystem, and right now we can go inside the custom, select the swamp tree, click OK, so it's take a second till populating. Okay, we'll go click populate, you can see it's creating nice trees on the background. We'll see if we maybe pop up a little bit more on the density. Okay, let me preview. Okay, it's look nice again. Remember, this is will be kind of feeling with the lighting, but it does look good on the back. Um, we can add more trees now closer to us. Okay, actually, you know what? Maybe we even can take this tree. Okay, so right here, we go to trees, we'll select swamp tree, let's click one. Okay, take a second, to let's place it. And right here we have a trees, this is one, just a little bit size. Maybe place it somewhere around this area. Let's click create another one somewhere around here. And also I want to create some dead trees, maybe kind of like being in the swamp. So we'll go add this one. Okay, we'll add right here. Let's go ahead and save our work. Okay, and next I'm going to add tree around here we'll go to trees select the dead tree okay. we'll put a little bit kind of like on the side right here and a little bit more in the water so we have it like tree going almost right in this area. 
Okay, let's add one more tree around here and the same thing. So I'm actually going back to this swamp tree. Okay, shrink all the way, make it teeny tiny. And just put right around here. Okay, also I have some trees like Christmas trees created some blue spruce twisted type of the tree so if you want it you can create those as well and place it but and, and currently I want kind of avoid we'll see what's going on so far okay this dead tree need be a little bit more inside the water okay this one look okay then we can add a few more maybe around here but this one need go a little bit more deeper into water so we'll go set right here so kind of like this okay and I think this is kind of okay for now for the preset we'll come back to do more and we'll start working on atmosphere next tutorial